Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Every Day. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to install and set up or activate a second NVMe M.2 drive on your Windows 11 PC. It's really quite simple to do. Now, if you're looking for more storage space for files or for games, a second NVMe drive is a great option. Now today we're gonna to be using the Crucial P2 one terabyte NVMe drive. If you are interested in this drive, I will have a link below in the description so you can pick one up for yourself or find more information. Now you might be saying, I don't have a second NVMe drive slot on my motherboard. If that's the case, it's no problem. I do have a link to a video in the description below of how to install a second solid state drive. You can go ahead and watch that one after this one, but let's go ahead and dive right into installing a second NVMe drive on your Windows 11 PC. So first off, let's go ahead and install our NVMe M.2 drive in our Windows 11 PC. Then we'll move on to setting it up in Windows 11 so you can use it. Make sure your computer is turned off and the power supply is unplugged. And you can go ahead and remove the side panel from your PC to give you access to the motherboard. Next up, go ahead and locate your NVMe drive slot on your motherboard. You can see the connector there, as well as the four standoff locations, depending on the length of your NVMe drive. I'm gonna go ahead and remove my graphics card here to give me a little bit more space. Now, depending on your PC, you may not need to remove your graphics card, but I do have a video I've made and I'll have that linked in the description of how I installed it. This should give you a better idea of how to remove it. So you can see this is where my original NVMe drive is that has Windows on it. And here's my second drive slot. This is where we're gonna be installing the drive today. Now I happen to have an 80 millimeter NVMe drive. You can line it up here and you can see which standoff hole you need to use. This is what the standoff looks like, the bigger piece there. If you don't have one, mine came with my motherboard, you can pick them up on Amazon and I will have a link below in the description. I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten that in by hand and then I'm gonna grab a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver and I can tighten that down just a little bit, not too tight. Let's go ahead and install the NVMe M.2 drive on our motherboard. There is a notch here on the drive that needs to line up with a notch on the connector. It goes in at a bit of an angle. Now there is tension on the drive, so it's kind of like a diving board here that needs to be held down with a screw. Now the screw we're using did come with my motherboard or you can grab them in those NVMe installation kits like I'd already talked about. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up here. I'll put the graphics card back in, the side panel on, and then we'll fire up the PC and we'll show you exactly how to activate or set up your second NVMe drive here in Windows 11. All right, so I've got that NVMe drive all installed in my Windows 11 PC, and now it's time to set it up or initialize or activate it here in Windows 11. So if I actually open up my file explorer here, you can see that you can't find that drive on the side here. I've got my C drive, which is my other NVMe drive. I've also got my G drive here, which is a regular solid state drive, but this new drive is not showing up in here. So what we need to do, head on down to your start menu here at the bottom, and what we wanna do is right click on the start menu, not left click, but right click. And it's gonna bring up a little menu that looks something like this. And the option we're looking for is the disk management option here towards the middle. You can go ahead and left click on disk management. It's gonna take you right into disk management. Now, if this is a brand new drive, it'll probably pop up that it wants to initialize the disk that you just put in. And we could just go ahead and make our selections from here and move forward. Now I'm gonna show you what to do if this doesn't pop up for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel and we'll come right back to this point in just a moment. So if I hit cancel here, you can see that a few disks are showing up. So I've got my disk zero, which is my crucial one terabyte solid state drive. And I've got my disk one here, which is my C drive, which has windows on it. But if I keep scrolling down here, you're also gonna see disk two here, and this says unallocated, and this is the drive that we just installed. Now, these could be in any particular order, so you wanna look through here and make sure you're finding the right drive that is unallocated. From here, we need to go ahead and right click in this area where it says disk two, where it's gray, not where the black bar is, but over to the left-hand side here. Just go ahead and right click on that, and you'll see the option here that says initialize, and that's gonna pop up the initialized disk where we were automatically when we open up disk management. Now from here, we wanna go ahead and make some selections. So the first one here where it says initialize disk, I like to select the GPT option, and this is the newer or more modern version. So that's the one we're gonna to select today. And we're gonna to go ahead and hit okay. 
Now from here, we need to search for the correct disk or drive and you can scroll through here until you find it. Again, mine is disk two, yours could be a different number. You do need to make sure you're selecting the correct disk. You don't wanna format the wrong drive here. So under this black bar, we just want to right click. Again, not left click, but right click right in this area. And it's gonna pop up here and you can select new simple volume. Go ahead and left click on new simple volume and the new simple volume wizard is gonna pop up. So we can go ahead and click next on this. It's gonna ask us to specify a volume size. I want the full volume, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit next here. And we can also assign a letter to our drive. So um, right now it's defaulted to D. I'd like to make mine letter X, for example. So I can select letter X. And from there, we're gonna go ahead and hit next. We can skip those other options. If you do wanna get more in depth, you can look into that on your own. From here, we can actually choose not to format the volume. I wanna format mine. We can create a volume label. So this is where we would name it. I'm gonna go ahead and name mine Crucial NVMe 1TB. You can name yours whatever you like. I just like to have my name so I know exactly which drive it is and make sure perform a quick format is selected here and we can go ahead and hit next. Completing the new simple volume wizard. You have successfully completed the new simple volume wizard. We're gonna go ahead and hit finish and you can see it formatted quickly and it popped up with that new drive. So you can see it's running here in disk management. So I have all three of my drives in here now. So I've got my SSD, I've got my other NVMe and I've got the crucial NVMe one terabyte drive as letter X. If I go into my file explorer here, you can see that that is now showing up here, the crucial NVMe drive as well. And I can start copying and moving files or installing programs right into here. If I right click on it and hit properties, you can see that it's giving me 931 gigabytes or one terabyte of space on this crucial NVMe drive. And it's really that simple to install, set up and activate a second NVMe M.2 drive on Windows 11. So I hope this tutorial was able to help you install and set up a second NVMe drive on your Windows 11 PC. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you are interested, I do have an unboxing and speed test of this crucial NVMe drive. I will have that video linked up here in the corner as well as in the description. Thank you so much for watching today. Remember to like and subscribe here on YouTube and connect with me on social media. Until next time, thanks for watching and take care.